The Huawei Mate 30 Pro is a fantastic phone, one of the most powerful of 2019 in fact, but if you're like me then you'll find using it without Google Apps and services is kind of a non-starter. Fortunately though, there is a pretty easy way to restore almost all of the apps and features that you get from a certified Android device. How you ask? Well, take a sec to subscribe and we'll jump right in. First, a quick word of warning, since we're getting into tinkering with your phone's software here, it's worth remembering that everything we're showing here is performed at your own risk. So unlikely as it may be, if you do somehow break your phone or damage it, then that's on you. In this video, we're going to be using the Chinese language Google Service Assistant app. The first step is to download the installer from lzplay.net. Point the Huawei browser at that website, hit the download button, and you'll have to click through some prompts since you're downloading an app from outside the approved Huawei App Store. You'll also need to give it permission to access your internal storage. Next is where most of the magic happens. The instructions for this step are in Chinese, but the process itself is pretty simple. The app needs to become a device administrator to update the blank stub apps already on the phone with fully functional Google Apps and services. XDA has a pretty good write-up of what's probably happening behind the scenes if you're interested in more technical detail. We'll leave a link in the description. Hit the blue button to start it, and you'll see a list of all the scary things an app could potentially do with these permissions. Nevertheless, that's what's required to get Google services up and running on a Huawei phone that doesn't preload them. Worth mentioning, of course, you can uninstall this app once it's done. If you're happy with all this, then hit the button to grant the permissions, and the app will get to work downloading updates to all the various Googly bits, GMS Core, Contact Sync, Map Components, and eventually the Google Play Store. Once it's done, you're pretty much good to go. Google Play Protect and other services will spring to life in the background, and once things have settled down, you'll be able to sign in and use the Play Store to download all the other Google apps, including basic stuff like Chrome, Google Maps, and Gmail. It's a good idea to reboot the device first, though, before you get to installing too much stuff. You'll also want to remove the Google Service Assistant app once you're done, since there's no reason to keep it around in the background. First go to Settings, Security, More Settings, Device Administrators, and remove its admin permissions, and then you can simply uninstall it as normal from the launcher or the app tray. Generally, on my Chinese Mate 30 Pro, things have worked just fine, with a couple of caveats. First, although Google Assistant works, it's not possible to activate it with the power button shortcut or the Hey Google hot word. Workarounds do exist for earlier Huawei phones, but these don't seem to work on the Mate 30 yet. Also, because the Mate 30 software isn't certified by Google, you can't use Google Pay, and certain apps that use DRM, Digital Rights Management, may also fail. For example, the current version of Netflix on the Play Store doesn't work on the Mate 30. So the method here doesn't restore absolutely everything you'd get with a Google certified phone, and there are extra steps to take, as even the basic loadout of Google Apps will need to be downloaded individually once you're done with this setup. But for someone in the West who's fully bought into the Google ecosystem like I am, this is pretty much the only way I would want to use a Mate 30. That's it for now, be sure to subscribe for our Mate 30 Pro review coming soon, and hit the comments and let us know what you think of this phone. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.